Hello there, Hatman here. It's election week and I am bloody terrified. So all throughout the last few days I've been door knocking, which has been really great. I've met some really cool people and I've had a chance to really talk about some issues in housing community. And I think I should really practice what I preach and that my main policy is about the guild giving you house hunting information. And I'm not going to do a big video where I do a huge massive house hunting guide because it's such a vast area and I don't want to end up putting it into a video and getting stuff wrong or trivialising it. So what I want to do is just give you a few tips that will hopefully come in useful if you're house hunting. I just want to say at this point as a disclaimer, this is not representative of the Guild of Students Advice nor Guild Lettings. It's just my advice as a student who knows the property market quite well and has done it a couple of times. So, tip number one, decide on what you want. So that's obviously quite a broad area, but to break it down into slightly smaller sections, firstly decide what size of house you want, not just the basic space inside, how many people you want to live with. Uh, some people might thrive in an environment where there are lots of people around them and you'll be happy in something like an eight bed house or a six bed house. And then some people are more like me. You'd prefer to be in a slightly smaller house where everything's a bit quieter. You might prefer to be in a, a three, four or a five bed. Just make sure you know what you want before you look for it so you're actually looking for the right stuff because the last thing you want is to be living in a situation for a year where you're not entirely comfortable because that's not good at all. You might you, you also want to make sure you know what price of house you're looking for, what your budget is, just so you know sort of what range of things you want to look at. And finally, make sure you know what area you're looking in. Most students will gravitate towards an area called Selioak, which is technically called Bornbrook, but I'm not getting into that now. Most people, most students will gravitate towards here because it's basically the centre of student life. It's got lots and lots of takeaways on the high street, loads of supermarkets really close by, and there's lots of other students around and there's a really cool community feel there. But that's not for everyone. Some people might prefer to be in Harborn, where it's a little bit quieter and closer to the med school and has a sort of different atmosphere. I myself am in Selly Park, mainly because I know that the budget here will stretch a lot further and I'm in a house which is bigger than anything that can actually fit in Selly Oak for a pretty competitive price, to be honest. So make sure you do your research on where you want to live and just make sure you're happy with the area you're looking in. Number two, ensure that the agent or landlord you're looking through is reputable. Now this is a pretty difficult thing to do as it's so vast and there are so many ways you can go wrong. But what's really good about Birmingham is it has something called the Midland Landlord Accreditation Scheme. And that means that any landlord who has this has been on a one day course and has learned how to be a good landlord. And they can also be stricken off the scheme if they are not doing their bit. So make sure your agent or landlord has that. Now, some of you will be looking at that and thinking, why should I care? They've done one day of learning. You know, what difference is that going to make? And yeah, that might be true, but I think you're looking at it the wrong way in that why would someone not do that one day of learning? Because that really tells you more about who they are, that they wouldn't bother to go to one day and learn how to be a better landlord. MLAS accreditation is necessary for all landlords at Guild Lettings. I know a couple of the other agencies do this too. And there's a reason for that, because we want to make sure our landlords actually do care and actually know their stuff, because there's nothing worse than having a landlord who doesn't know anything about property. MLAS isn't the only accreditation scheme, there's one called Unipol, and if elected, I kind of want to make this more of an official thing, in that it works very well in Leeds, in that people are direct calls Uni Unipol accredited houses, and I think it would work well in Birmingham too. Another sort of side note on this point, if you get approached by someone in the street offering to show you around a house, for the love of God, don't do it. You wouldn't buy a jacket off someone in the street, you wouldn't buy a drink off someone in the street, therefore don't let a house off someone in the street unless you happen to know who they are. In which case, why are they on the street anyway? Why are you just trawling the streets hoping they'll turn up for you? Don't do it. Number three, when you're looking around houses, talk to the tenants. They've lived there for a year, they know the house better. It's an obvious one really. Now, you might want to take this bit of advice with a pinch of salt, as sometimes property gets very personal and very aggressive, and if tenants have fallen out with landlords, they might say stuff that is disproportionately bad against them. But it does give you a basic idea of what their experience in the house has been like, and they're 
going to be the closest you're going to get to a proper accurate answer. So that's just a few tips. There's so much more house hunting advice out there. The Guild of Students has some. Uh, you can find that on their website. What about you? Have you got any good tips that helped you with house hunting? Why not tell me in the comments below? And remember that voting's open this week. So I would love it if you logged on to my.bham and clicked on the big vote here sign and made sure you put number one in the box next to Kieran Hatman Campbell. So yes, I will see you tomorrow with part two of this little mini series. Hatman away!